today guys I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the different helmets that I reviewed in my other videos so make sure you check those out um, I got a lot of different comments and um, messages from different viewers and subscribers thank you for all those who have subscribed and um, pretty much they said can we see how the helmet looks on the head so I have a test head right here all right with glasses and everything just like if you're a rider all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use this head and I'm going to use it for example of the different helmets that I reviewed in my other videos. I'm going to use the uh, Specialized Echelon, the Specialized S-Works Pro Carbon, and the Specialized S-Works Prevail. All right, S-Works. All right, so I'm going to. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Echelon. All right, we have this helmet here. So I'm going to place this on my rider's head. lock in the buckle all right so once again about the right fit say it was on my head so once again this is a standard size of a standard head uh, there's a different ranges of head but once again this is just about the one that is very similar to my head but it's very easy to show this versus me putting these helmets back on and forth all right so I have the head there all right as you can see how easily it fits the head all right, doesn't look like a mushroom because that's what some people they don't like that when the helmets fit like a big mushroom on a rider's head. Okay. All right, so that's the specialized echelon. Let's take a look at the other one. The next one I'm going to look at is the specialized S Works Pro Carbon model. Okay. I'm going to take this one, place it on my user's head. All right, and I left the visor on this one so you can get the feel of how that would look too. All right, so as we can see how this fits on the helmet or on the head there. All right, so once again, kind of same fit. It's not really a mushroom effect of the uh, actual helmet on the head there. Head, all right, as you can see, there's a lot of padding there, kind of makes this kind of stick out there. And of course you have the bed to kind of offset that as well. All right, and then last, I'm gonna use the Specialized S-Works Prevail helmet. All right, which is the lightest of all these helmets. All right, and it's more aero and so forth, but you know, you can see those details of how I review those and those specs later on in one of my other videos. All right, so I got this snapped onto the rider there. All right, and as you can see, all right, that's about right on the, on the helmet's head there, that this one is a little smaller or way smaller compared to the other ones, as you can see in the other one, as far as the padding there, all right, on a standard helmet head, it's not that big. So it has a little snugger fit, I should say, than the other ones. All right. So as you can see there, once again, you don't have that mushroom look or feel on this helmet. It kind of fits uniform with the head with a, definitely enough protection at the top there and a lot of adjustments so you can get it securely on your head. All right, now we see that we, once again we have all three of these helmets up there. We have, once again, our standard head model there. Thanks again for that. Appreciate it. Next, we have these other two helmets here, which is the Echelon. We have the S-Works Pro Carbon, and then we have the Prevail listed here at the top. All right, so those are the three helmets I reviewed in my other videos for a little more in-depth view of these. But overall, as you can see, none of these helmets really have a mushroom, big head type of feel on the helmet. I do admit that the Prevail has the most closer to your head fit than some of the other ones as the Echelon and the Pro Carbon. Overall, they're all good helmets. And all three of these are great helmets. The Echelon, the Pro Carbon, and the Prevail there. Once again, it just depends on your price point, which is always a factor. Then also, too, uh, what do you pretty much like far as, you know, the styling of the helmet, actually, if that matters to you, or actually the color of the helmet and so forth. So those are all different factors you factor in when making a purchase. But overall, these helmets are great helmets, and they provide the number one thing we all need, safety. Safety is once again is the most important reason why I even wear helmets in the first place. So you get what's comfortable for you. These are just are my preference for different choices I have there from the low end all the way to the high end there. All right. So once again, those are just three different areas. And once again, our standard head there showing us how it fits there. All right. 
So check out my other videos and if you want to see the complete review of these different helmets and how they work out for us in the future or how they work for you in your everyday riding. Thanks again for watching guys. And thanks for subscribing. That's that dude.